Well, hello and welcome to a new video where we are going to test the performance of the AMD RX 6900 XT. So AMD's flagship from the, from the last generation in Counter-Strike 2. And we are playing this at 1080p for starters and with the very high graphics preset. So let's see how well this runs. And we're playing this in a casual game mode, obviously at uh, the Dust 2, I think is this is what this map is called. And this GPU is paired in my system with an Ryzen 7 5800X 3D. So it should get probably the, the best performance one can get with this graphics card, hopefully in this game. And it also has 32 gigabytes of dual channel 3000 megahertz memory, which obviously isn't the fastest. Uh, but that shouldn't really matter since we do have the 3D recache in the Ryzen 7. So you only uh, would see frame drops or lower performance because of that in a significant uh, significant amount for a significant ex extent to a significant extent if you actually did not have, have this 3D recache, which makes up for most of the most of the slow memory. But yeah, uh, Right off the start, we're seeing mostly above 250 up to 300 FPS, which is, to my knowledge, the maximum FPS Counter-Strike 2 actually allows to be displayed. I don't know if that's an engine thing or whatever, but uh, yeah, you won't see anything higher than 300 FPS in this game. And since we are already pretty close to that all the time, and we are still not even utilizing our GPU to the fullest, I am pretty convinced that we can still crank this up to 1440p without losing a lot of performance here. But yeah, it is perfectly smooth, perfectly playable, <laughs> exactly what you would expect from a high-end system like this in a competitive title like Counter-Strike. But as I found with the 940MX, which I tested earlier, I saw that there was actually a pretty significant... Uh, difference between uh, in, in, in terms of performance between Counter-Strike Global Offensive and Counter-Strike 2 even though in my opinion it doesn't really look all that much better than Counter-Strike GO so yeah that's that but yeah I guess the RX 69 XT is still <laughs> well ahead of uh, having any problems in this title at least at 1080p and I think that's quite enough since we are not really losing any FPS here let's go and Crank it up to 1440p. There you go. All right, and now our GPU actually is utilized 100% sometimes. And that is obviously a good thing because that will make up for a very smooth frame time graph. But on the other hand, we are actually do see some frame dips here and there. So it is not quite perfect, but I think I saw it dropping down be be beneath the 200 FPS mark even once. But for the most part, we are still seeing over 250 FPS at the moment. Ah, but yeah, you can see we are, we are definitely not running this as easy anymore as we did in 1080p. And that's, that's, that's really crazy because uh, with Counter-Strike Global Offensive, that definitely would not be the case with the 6900 XT. At least not from the last benchmark that I remember, which I did with uh, that game. But yeah, you can, <laughs> you may even hear my graphics card working right now. And I should mention that it is an overclock card and it's, it does not have the normal XTX chip, but instead uses the XTXH chip which means that you can overclock it further than a normal 6900 XT and the performance of it in most titles will be similar with not even better than the 6950 XT. So yeah, we should see the probably very best from AMD in this generation. And even though we are not really zipping too much juice with our graphics card, although it is even overclocked right now, yeah, I mean, it is perfectly playable. If you, do have, if you do have a 230 hertz monitor, I may suggest that you drop down the resolution a bit in order to maintain those 240 hertz all the time. 
or at least those 240 hertz because as we can see we are dropping i mean we are not really dropping underneath uh underneath the 200 fps mark for more than a few seconds if any uh if anything but i would still not want to uh want to risk it or risk my competitive advantage of having a very very high fps rate and a very low response time so yeah you might want to do that if you're playing at 1440p well nevertheless it runs perfectly smooth as one would expect even at 1440p right now so yeah i guess if you are a competitive player and you want to play this game then this setup should be quite fine and with the 1600 xt you should be definitely good to go and play this game probably even at 4k with at least i mean we are dropping to the 200s now but for the most part yeah i guess you were playing around you would be playing around the hmm, i guess the 170 fps mark if you are playing at 4k at least at the very high settings that we are playing at i mean obviously you can still turn them down and probably get around the 200 or even 300 fps all the time but yeah if you also wish to see some visual fidelity then the very high settings at 1440p is very much playable.